We woke up today to a very gloomy, moody day. No sun, a very light snow blanket. I have always been very sensitive to the sun, or should I say, its absence. It affects my mood very, very powerfully. Without the sun and its glow, I become myself moody and I struggle to have the drive to do anything. Are there any like me? It is almost like I am in search of my star, in need to gravitate around it like a satellite. Luckily, I remember from my college years that sunlight triggers the release of a hormone called serotonin, which in turn affects our mood and mental health. As a response to this very great day, I decided to bring the sun to our plate. It is a traditional vegan meal from Central Africa with a very distinctive color, bright yellow. It will make for a great celebration, perfect for this holiday season. In this video, I will show you how to cook it with basic ingredients at home. I couldn't help but make the parallel between the sun being necessary for my body as God is necessary for my spiritual well-being. I knew from my young years that our planet gravitating around the sun is vital for human life, but I discovered very late that I needed to gravitate around God to live a life worth living or to make some sense out of this life. I was lucky enough to find God in my heart, in the secret of my home. Reading my Bible, I found the title made alive in Christ in Ephesians 2, and it made me think. Does it mean that I was dead before? Well, before encountering God, my answer to that question would have been with no hesitation. No, I was very much alive, living my way and finding all sorts of excuses for my sins. It was my right, my life.
I still remember to this day crying my eyes out in my room when looking at my past life, the lies, the fornication, the pride and more. God showed me how he looked at it and it broke me. I sobbed for hours begging for his mercy. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. A veil was removed before my eyes that day. I found my identity in Christ that day and it has nothing to do with my race, religion or culture. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you decide to try this recipe, I will really appreciate your comments below. I pray that you have a joyful and meaningful moment with family and friends. Happy Holidays!